Hello and welcome Capricorn. Welcome to a reading which is hopefully going to outline what the next 30 days are all about for you. This particular reading is timeless. That means Capricorn that it doesn't matter when you watch it. It doesn't matter when you find it, when you stumble upon it, when the algorithms put it in front of you. It is valid from this point forward for the next 30 days. That is the intention that I'm setting and uh, really just looking at where does your focus need to be, what do you need to be mindful of and what's coming up for you over the next 30 days. So we are going to start off with an oracle because I find it just sets the tone so beautifully and I have already shuffled the oracle just to save a little bit of time. I've shuffled all the other decks as well. I have a few on the table in front of me. Let's get into your reading and see what does the next 30 days have in store for you. So Capricorn, your overarching theme is awakening and it's telling you across the bottom here live in the moment so immediately what I hear from spirit around awakening is that there is going to be a lot going on over the next 30 days there is going to be quite a lot happening but it's not so much tangible external stuff as it is internal stuff so within your center within your soul there is going to be an awakening now the word awakening it is to me it's about gaining understanding all right so it doesn't mean that there's any kind of strange spiritual kind of activity that's taking place but an awakening is suddenly having a realization suddenly becoming mindful of the circumstance situation etc and suddenly all the pieces falling into place that is what my interpretation of an awakening is and i feel like for you over the next 30 days that's exactly what's going to happen so maybe you've been struggling maybe the last couple of weeks, couple of months, couple of days, whatever it may be, maybe you've been struggling with certain things. Maybe things haven't been going quite according to plan. And maybe there's this been this almost this kind of overwhelm of confusion, okay? Um, frustration, confusion, however we want to identify it. But awakening is basically saying to you that that's going to be a thing of the past because it doesn't mean the pressure is gone, it doesn't mean the activity is gone, but it means you're comprehension understanding of the situation certainly gets better i love how the little keyword at the bottom here says to you live in the moment because you know what capricorn sometimes we can get so overwhelmed with pressure and expectation and outcomes and you know objects and ob objectives and all the rest of it that we actually forget to to stay in the moment to stay in the space and this is again where the awakening comes in because the awakening is suddenly realizing having the realization that you don't have to always be perfect or always achieve greatness or always achieve you know whatever the fabulous outcomes are that you've put pressure on yourself the awakening is when you suddenly realize you know what as long as i am present in this moment and doing my best in this moment nothing else matters you know tomorrow will sort itself out and the past well, it's done and dusted. We cannot go back and change it. So I'm keeping this card uh, handy. <laughs> I will be referencing it lot, a lot. But now that we have an idea, Capricorn, of what the next 30 days is about. So the next 30 days for you is about this awakening, having this moment, this epiphany, this moment of understanding, of clarity, of putting things into perspective. I want to know from the tarot that I'm shuffling at the moment, you know, what is this exactly? So what part of your life hasn't been in perspective? What part of your life needs to have this awakening, so to speak? What else does spirit want to share with regards to this awakening and being present in the moment for you? Right. The cards are shuffled. Let me just cut the deck. So the first card we have is the ace of wands now i mean how fabulous does this look here she's riding her creature and she's just embarking on this this fabulous life she is moving forward she's not really thinking too much about where she's at where she's been she's just like in this moment riding her horse i'm going to call it a horse i know it's not a horse it looks more like a kitty cat to me but it's a creature she's riding her creature but she's staying very active and very in the now i love how she has the sun at the top of her staff on the top of her stick but she is being very present. Now, she realizes that there's things to do. She realizes that, uh, you know, she, she needs to accomplish things because that's what life is. Life is all about accomplishing things and achieving things and doing things. So she's very active. So she realizes the things that she needs to do. She's not sitting down and going, oh, I'm nervous, I'm scared, I'm worried, I'm anxious. She's like, no, 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 let's just do this thing. Ace of Wands is also the card Capricorn that tells you that sometimes in life we just have to get busy. 
sometimes in life we have to just get on with it okay and understanding that you do have a lot of pressure on yourself and you haven't quite yet as I said had the awakening around outcomes and expectations and pressures and strategies but when you start living in the now when you start taking advantage of present moment you'll be amazed as to how easy how simple and how uncomplicated things actually are for you but we have i say we as in the human we have this tendency to to over complicate things to put unnecessary pressure on ourselves as to who we are what we want to do what we want to achieve what it looks like you know uh, um, how many people are going to be happy how many people are going to be upset and it becomes all quite overwhelming whereas sometimes we need to just take it easy and that's exactly our next card here we have the four of swords so four of swords and notice how she's holding her heart and we have this the spiral effect that is taking place four of swords is the card of saying understanding when it is the right time so charging ahead doing all the things that need to be done recognizing that you need to be in the now be in the moment and do your best in the space but also recognizing that there's a time and a place for everything okay and Capricorn I think over the next 30 days if you are going to have the epiphanies the awakenings the understandings that you need to have you've got to understand that there's a time and a place and sometimes if we put pressure on an outcome if we put pressure on achieving a thing we actually add negative energy to it in which case it, it generally turns out to be just a real flop so if we are going to achieve things the right way if we're going to do things the right way this is saying to you that there's a time and a place and it's about understanding that being too enthusiastic being too eager in our enthusiasm <laughs> is going to get you into trouble so the awakening is also saying to you about learning timing learning the importance and significance and relevance of time so four of swords traditionally is the card of of patience it's the card of waiting it's the card of seeing the situation through before you jump into action so i do think that's quite relevant and significant for you let's draw another one and see so the, the the story definitely gets clearer because here we have the five of cups and capricorn the five of cups is the card that says to you life is full of disappointments <laughs> you don't need me to tell you that life is full of disappointments not everything in life goes according to plan sometimes stuff goes wrong you know sometimes stuff goes wrong now i want to ask you a question capricorn and this is quite interesting that it's, it's for you guys if something goes wrong if something doesn't quite go according to plan does it mean that it's an outright total failure and that you are the failure is that what it means or is it saying to you that maybe we needed to adjust it and take it in a slightly different direction or that maybe it's just not the right time okay so this is spirit saying to you pay attention to the things that disappoint you over the next couple of weeks when you find yourself feeling disappointment acknowledge it recognize it but i almost want you to categorize it what aspect of your life are you feeling this disappointment in all right because you can't have an awakening you can't have an understanding you can't live oh, if i can get my fingers in the right place you can't live in the present moment if you are not aware of your disappointments because we, you are living your life trying to avoid this you are living your life trying to to just get busy and get doing and get everything done and accomplished and and you know achieved but what you're not doing is paying attention to where you are feeling the disappointment and it's important that you do because it's paying attention to these disappointments that will keep you in that moment I don't want you sitting in that disappointment though all right Capricorn that that's not the message the message is identify what aspect of your life what area of your life is the disappointment in in other words is it emotions is it friendships is it finance is it your car is it your job is it a, a weekend away with the family whatever it was okay identify where the disappointments come from and then ask yourself ask yourself the question of did i push did i force the situation to happen sooner than it was supposed to or even let's take it to the complete opposite opposite end of the spectrum were you too slow did you miss an opportunity were you late to the party so timing is everything and especially when there's disappointment because often it's not the action that causes the disappointment but very much 
the timing. And if you are truly living in the now, if you are truly living in the now, living an awakened, conscious life and living in the now, disappointment will never happen. Because if you're aware of everything as it's taking place, however it's taking place, you are in a better position to adjust accordingly so that disappointment never happens. So if you're experiencing disappointment, you've got to ask yourself, did I push too much? Did I not push enough? Was, was I too quick? Was I too slow? What is the timing issue here that has triggered the disappointment? And once you've identified that, you'll be amazed at how awakened, how aware and how conscious you actually are of everything that's going on around you. I think that's actually quite, uh, quite interesting. I definitely think it's quite interesting. I'm going to grab another oracle and I'm just taking straight off the top. Um, <laughs> you know what? What do I say? I can't make this stuff up. So you've got the card of sleep. And the little keyword across the bottom here is to slow down. And I'm going to put it next to the card of timing. Okay. Put it next to the card of timing. So Capricorn, this is confirmation from spirit that if you are sleeping or you are rushing, you're not awakened. <laughs> Sleep and awake, sleep and awake, sleep and awake. You are not awakened, you're not conscious, you're not mindful, you're not present. And this is the thing that is so important. If you are rushing everywhere all the time, how are you going to see the little miracles? How are you going to appreciate the miracles? How are you going to adapt to all the beauty that is taking place around you? You've got to learn to live in the moment. It's so, so, so important, Capricorn. It is so, so, so important. All right, I have another another tarot deck. And what I want to do is I want to shuffle this tarot deck because we, we now have an understanding of the next 30 days for you Capricorn is going to be about recognizing, understanding and working through the right timings. Because it's understanding that if you put put some put something through before it's ready to go through, it's going to fail, it's going to disappoint you, it's going to cause you challenge, hardship, difficulty. Likewise, if you wait too long, missed opportunity, missed circumstance, missed joy, missed success. Okay, so it's about understanding it's being present. It's about being mindful, but it's also about recognizing and understanding the significance and importance of time. So it seems like your theme for the next 30 days is around the right time for the right job, for the right reasons, under the right circumstances. So I have shuffled this next tarot deck. I have drawn a card. I'm not showing you yet what it is. The question I was asking when I was shuffling is why? Why is this an important lesson? Why is this something that you need to be so focused on for the next 30 days? Why? Why is timing so important? And the card is competition. So I love this one because here we have two little kitty kids and they are flying kites. The kites are clearly opposite. The kites have also clearly, oopsie, got themselves all tangled. Is competition a bad thing, Capricorn? I don't think so. I think competition is great. I think competition is what keeps us interested. It's what keeps us present. Competition is what keeps us active. Competition is what keeps us living in the moment. Because if we didn't have competition, we would think that we are untouchable, perfect, and wonderful. And then we're just operating from a place of ego. So competition comes to sort of bring things into balance. Sometimes we can be so good at what we do, and we can reach this pinnacle, and we can stay there for such a long time, that actually, without even realizing it, we slowly, slowly, slowly stop dropping, because complacency sets in. And when complacency, complacency sets in, we lose our focus we lose our, our, our mojo and suddenly we're not doing things as well as we should have. So this card from uh, this competition card in a normal traditional tarot would be the five of wands. And it is the card of struggle. It is the card of challenge. It is the card of hardship. It's the card of competition. But it's also the card that says to you, you know, you've got to again recognize, is it the right time to get involved in competition or is it not? Are you again forcing a situation or is the situation happening? Like these two kids, I don't think when they first put their kites up into the sky, I don't think they set out to knock heads. I don't think that was the intention at all. It was a case of bad timing. Just bad timing. 
Bad timing is what got them into this predicament in the first place. Now there's the blame game. I blame you, you blame me. I blame you, you blame me. Challenge, challenge, challenge. Suddenly we are not awakened. Suddenly we are aggressive. Suddenly we are fighting and struggling and trying to compete with everybody um, instead of just actually giving it a chance to, to be. Disappointment comes when things go wrong. And sometimes in life, things go wrong. It's unavoidable, okay? But it's how you react. It's how you do. So did you when, you, when you decided you wanted to fly your kite, did you go out into the field? You saw another little boy about to get his kite into the air. Did you suddenly rush to get yours up first because you want to be first? Because you want to be numero uno? Is that where the competition came from? Because guess what? If that's how you live in your life, disappointment's going to be your best friend. Disappointment is going to be your best friend. If you had just waited a minute, two minutes, five minutes, if you had just waited a very short amount of time, if you had lived in the moment, seen what was going on around you for what it was, and slowed down ever so slightly, this wouldn't happen. This would not have happened. Next one. Remember, we're still asking the question of why, okay? We're still asking the question of why. Why is this lesson? Why is this whole thing of timing, of awakening, of being mindful, of not forcing or missing an opportunity? Why is it so important? And the card we have here is the card of fear. You can see the fear in the eyes. This is the nine of swords in traditional tarot. And it is the card of fear, of anxiety, of stress. And I'm going to say to you, Capricorn, this is the fear of things that haven't happened yet. This is, the, this is the fear of things that aren't actually real. This is the fear of what happens in your head, which is not real. But when you allow the fear to consume you and it gets you into difficult situations where you are competing unnecessarily for something completely not relevant, you are no longer awakened and you are no longer living in the moment. This fear is going to cause you nothing but disappointment. <laughs> nothing but disappointment. Is that how you want to live your life? Is that what's important to you? I, I hope not. I want to remind you of the first tarot card we drew, the Ace of Wands. Look how excited she is. Look at all the bright colors. Look how fabulous everything is. She is living her best life by being in the moment, taking advantage of situations. She is not allowing fear to control her, to rule her, or to dictate time. She's taking advantage of the present moment. And whatever is happening in a present moment, she's like, I'm on board, I'm doing it. Fear is not her friend. Fear is not somebody she keeps close. And Capricorn, I want you to ask yourself right now, is fear your friend? Is fear something you keep close? Do you operate? Where's my operate? Do you do things because you're afraid of what happens if you don't do it? Do you do things out of obligation? or oh, the glare. Do you do things out of obligation or out of fear of what may go wrong and what or how it may disappoint something, someone, a situation? Is fear driving you? Because if it is, now is the time to stop. Now is the time to sleep. Now is the time to slow down. And now is the time to rest. Because fear is not your friend. And you should not invite fear into your home. I started off by saying that I do believe that competition is healthy. And I really do believe it is. I really do, Capricorn. I believe competition is, is fantastic. Because without competition, we all become complacent. And complacency leads us down the road of disappointment all over again. So we do need a little bit of competition, but it needs to be healthy competition, not fear-based competition, not ego-based competition, okay? It needs to be healthy competition. Competition where, you know, let the best person win. We both enter into the situation consciously, mindfully, awakenedly. <laughs> we both enter and the competition allows us the opportunity to live in the moment. I want one more tarot. You see, we've got to live our lives in gratitude, Capricorn. 
you know me i'm such a big advocate for gratitude to me gratitude is the most important thing like love is there love is important love is all those kind of good things but to me gratitude is number one if you do not live your life with gratitude if you have no gratitude for the good and the bad in your life uh no amount of love is going to fix whatever's wrong in your life okay so gratitude is absolutely everything so when you find yourself i'm going to get all of these up here hold a second hold a second i don't know if this is going to work right you can see all of them okay if you find yourself and i, I want to just orient my fingers right this is great this is fear this is competition and this is gratitude okay i've got it so if you find yourself living in fear if you find your competition is based on fear if you find that you are competing with people in your life because of fear get rid of them and practice gratitude instead because as soon as you change your focus and as soon as you change your focus and your awareness to gratitude suddenly the awakening takes place suddenly the pressure of time the pressure of energy the pressure of everything suddenly disappears and suddenly you are living in the moment suddenly you have slowed down and you're probably sleeping so much better that's not the one i wanted you are probably sleeping so much better because fear is no longer driving you because fear is no longer causing you unnecessary headaches and then you can live your life in bliss then opportunities are going to present themselves to you over and over and over again and it's going to be amazing so it's all on you friend it's all on you how are you going to live your life are you going to live an awakened life where you are living in the moment and not allowing yourself to live a life of fear of competition of panic it's time for you to be honest with yourself and you know what capricorn i think it's easy i think it'll be very easy once you start recognizing when the disappointment sets in when you notice and acknowledge the disappointment and you ask yourself where in my life is this where am i feeling or experiencing the disappointment and you ask yourself what did i do to trigger it was i too fast was i too slow was i too enthusiastic was i not enthusiastic enough in what way did you push or slow down the situation and when you start recognizing those patterns <laughs> show you the back of the card suddenly the awakening will just be there and you will have all the knowledge the understanding and the comprehension that you need to live a better life than what you're living right now capricorn the next 30 days certainly look quite interesting sending you so much love and so many blessings from my heart to yours and until we connect again take care